I think it's very striking after the whole of our discussion up to this point to list the fundamental ideas of Hegelianism that we've talked about, which Marx simply took over and incorporated into Marxism. Among these are, first, the idea that reality is a historical process. Second, that this process changes by uh, a, a dialectical movement, dialectical change, historical dialectic. Third, that it's all going towards a goal, Fourth, that that goal is a conflict-free society. And fifth, that until we get there to the conflict-free society, we're condemned to remain in one form or another of alienation. Now, all these absolutely central ideas of Marxism were taken over lock, stock and barrel from Hegel. One has to say that there's one huge difference, and it's this, that... Whereas Hegel, as we've been saying all along, was an idealist, and to Hegel, all these things were seen as happening to mind or spirit, to Geist, as you said. In the case of Marx, he saw all these things as happening to something material. Marx was a materialist. But the whole pattern of ideas remains the same. It's as if Marx has taken over a great long set of equations from Hegel, substituted a different value for x in the equation, matter instead of mind, but kept the whole set of equations in every other respect the same. That's right, and you can see it, for instance, in Marx's materialist conception of history, the key thing in Marx's thought, where history develops by the economic base, the material side, the forces of production, as dominating the mental, so that our ideas, our religion, our politics, all flow from the kind of economic structure that we have in our society. And that's an inversion of Hegel's idea. As Marx himself said, he stood Hegel on his head, because for Hegel, it was the development of ideas, of ideas of freedom and so on, that led to the formation of particular societies and particular historical epochs.